<laughs> Have we gone mad, Roseanne, in our world? When I look at all the fallout to the things that you say or do, um, I look at the sort of apoplexy that people bring to jokes, to humour, to sarcasm, to irony, all these things. And I, I, I really despair that the very essence of comedy, for example, is being expunged from human life. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, well, you should despair, Piers, and so should anybody who has a brain or, um, you know, any humanity whatsoever or any connection to any other human beings on Earth, they should despair, too. Um, I say that they are weaponizing stupidity, and people have sunk to such a level that, level that they can't handle satire, because satire is when you take two disparate subjects and bring them together to defamiliar, defamiliarize reality, such as a poet does with words. Defamiliar, defamiliarize reality and they cannot hold two disparate ideas in their head at the same time because they're fed bullshit 24 7 over the media and i'm mm -hmm. about to go crazy sitting here on the earphone hearing the stuff you all are saying about the ukraine i'm about to have a heart attack but i'm not even going to go into it i'm from the ukraine the ukrainian the Ukrainian, there, there is a large faction of Nazis. I don't know if you know this, but there's a large amount of Nazis in the Ukraine, and they actually killed my whole family. Um, I'm from the Ukraine, and they marched my entire family, grandmothers, great-grandparents, oh, ten yeah, siblings, look. out into the forest and buried them alive in the Ukraine. So I don't understand why everybody's Ukraine, Ukra well, I do understand, and that's also what terrifies me. People better wake up and do some research on their own instead of buying what comes across on the screen. And I try I mean, to shake them up, Pierce, you're goddamn right I do. I try to shake them up and crack their, their mind control programming. I do it for God. Well, here's, Roseanne, what I would say to that. I don't agree with you uh, about uh, a lot of the stuff you said about Ukraine. I know what you said, and you're perfectly entitled to your views. I would say in relation to the suggestion that they're all a bunch of you Nazis... You haven't the seen the swastikas well, well, on. on those Roseanne, on. soldiers' arms. It's the in the President Zelensky news. himself is Jewish, so obviously he is de facto not a Nazi. I know, but he's not a good one. Are, are, are all Jews the same? For God's sake, talk about anti-Semitic. Just because the guy's a Jew doesn't mean he likes Jews or that he's doing anything good for the Jews. I mean, so what? Who cares what anybody is? That was the whole point of my tweet. Just because they're just because they're skin folk don't mean they're kin folk. You know what I mean? Just because they're the same color as you don't mean they ain't trying to lock your ass up. Wake up, people! Snap out of it. Okay, listen. Like I said, you're uncensored, yes. so you're perfectly entitled to your views. I'm entitled to a different view. I'm I'll sure you nice. would accept that. It's OK. I've got to be nice. You're perfectly entitled to I can to accept that you, you have a different view, Piers. I can speak mm. respectfully to another human being because I actually, you know, I love to converse and I just get passionate sometimes. Mm. And I, I love that people disagree with me. I love to have conversations. So excuse you my know, there passion. Was a 